What's poppin'? I'm Titan. Um, I'm 20. I'm from South Sudan. Been here for like the rest of my life since I was probably like four. I started making music around 2009 and I started doing poetry maybe like 2007. I've just continued that. Now I'm just like creative. <laughs> I grew up in Eastside. Now I live in Tiny and I've been here for like the last five years. Tainedian. <laughs> when I came here, it was like you immediately realized you were different. People stared at you, like you felt like it was just drilling into you, right? When there's racist conversations happening around you, right? It might be family, it might be friends, it might be, you know, anyone around you. When you see those racist conversations happening, you need to be able to step in that and educate people. Because then they know it's not okay. Now we're doing the podcast because we realize that we don't really have a voice. Every time we wanted to say something or every time something happened in the news or the community, we had to go to another person's platform and they, had, they controlled what we said. They controlled our voice and they took away your story that that happens to you. You can't, you can't say what you want to say. You can only say what they allow you to say if you don't have a platform. And our community did have that. So we're like, okay, let's make a podcast and let's just start talking about what we want to talk about. And let's raise our podcast so that can be our voice so we don't have to go to a different person's platform. For the people that want to help, because I get that a lot. A lot of people want to be, okay, I want to be an ally. How do I assist in this fight that you're in? I say using your privilege is a big part of it. Because there are things that I can't do. You got to start speaking up. You can't just be quiet. You can't just be like, oh, David is a racist, but that's none of my business because I'm not. Because now you're, you know, enabling that type of behavior. To go to the story that we all kind of like want, or that I want at least, I don't know if everyone wants that, right? But a most multicultural society that's like, people working together, right? Start allowing other people in your space, people that aren't like you, even though, even if it's uncomfortable at the start, right? Because you never know, give people chances. Step out of your comfort zone and like, meet more people, see more culture. There's definitely hope. I don't want people to think that, you know, because they try to tell you there's no hope. People try to tell you, hey, get rid of that person. That's the only way of getting hurt if we get back to the old Australia. I like this Australia. I like the Australia we're heading towards, where it's like, it's more colorful. <laughs>